creating content is hard, but I've created a tool for your content creation that is going to make your life so much easier. Let's take a look. So this is the content tracker. You can see that we're going from ideas to plan, research, all the way through to completed. Now this is the main page where you can see every single bit of content that you have in the works. Down here at the bottom are the different tabs, but of course you can click on these here to get straight to the right tab. In here, you've got all of your ideas for your upcoming videos. Now you can just pop in anything you want here. Now you can fill this up as much as you want, put in thousands of ideas here, and when you're ready, pick the video you want to work on, change this to plan, and then all by itself, it moves over to the plan section. If we go over to plan, we can see there it is. Let's say that we have finished planning the top most challenging airports to land at. We can click on this and go over to the research panel. So that now moves over and everything moves up. Over in the research panel, you can see the top most challenging airports to land at. Back in the content tracker main page, you can see under research, the top 10 most challenging airports to land at. And over here, the Mile High Club, a true story that we just added in. Now that's not all that's included in this planner. If we go over to the plan page, you can see that this one's actually blue and underlined. And when we mouse over it, we can see a content template pops up. When we click on this, that opens up a Google Doc and you can plan everything for your piece of content here. So at the top, we have the thrill of flying a pilot's perspective. It's got the published date, which number we're on. Now I like to put these in number order so it matches what I save on my computer. And then you can put in your project manager, writer, and editor. You can put in your sponsor details, any alternative titles, because titles and thumbnails are a science in and of themselves. Down here is the validation section. So is it a requested topic? Have your fans asked you for this topic? Or maybe it's been successful for others. Just change that from no to yes, and you're good to go. Is it trending? Well, one way you can find out is going to trends.google.com. We can type in here, what are we working on right now? the thrill of flying a pilot's perspective. So let's put in pilot's perspective. Interest over time, we don't have much here. Let's change from New Zealand to worldwide and see what we get. We can see there that the interest is not that great. We have many gaps and even though it says 100 up here, the way that works is it's been normalized so the top will always be 100. Not the most useful thing if you ask me, but it does give you a little bit of an idea of if the content is actually being searched up. So let's add in a different search term. Let's go with what it's like to fly. Well, that's even worse. Let's add in here, flying. And you can see now we actually have a good graph. The other two way down here. If we look at the yellow line, that is fairly consistent. So while this individual topic may be difficult to search for, the niche itself is quite popular. So if we go back to the content template, we can see, no, it's not really trending, but that's okay. What about the volume? Well, if we go over to a tool like vidIQ and then type in some keywords, we can go up to keywords and type in something like thrill of flying. We get a medium, 59 is not bad, but I like to be in the screen here for the overall score. Now the competition is low, the search volume, not that much. If we take a look over here, we can see related keywords. So we might want to have these in our title, airplane, 280,000, but the score is quite low, probably because the competition is going to be quite high. You can see there, a very, very high competition. So again, titles and thumbnails are a science to explore. Let's see what else is included in this doc. So if we scroll down, we can put in our description, chapters, and details in here. And keep on going down, we can put in our research and notes. Now, everyone's going to do their research and notes completely different depending on what niche you're in and depending on how you were taught to research and, and create notes. So that's completely up to you. Down here, we have the script from the introduction to the body, a guest spot if you've got one, sponsor section, YouTube ending and Nebula ending to get both of those platforms. Once you've got all that, go up to the URL, control C to copy, Head back to the content tracker, control K to open up this here, and control V to put that in there. Click apply, and now this is linked to that piece of content. So if we move this from plan over to research, we can see it disappears, and over in the research, we can see there it is. Now let's see that in action again. I'm just going to add in a few more ideas into our plan stage, and head over to the plan section. Now let's take a look at flying high the life of a commercial pilot. I'm going to hit control C on that to copy this text. 
and then mouse over this section here and that pop up way up the top there for some reason, we'll click on that. Make a copy. And then our project here, Control Shift V, pastes in the title that we copied. When's the publish date? Let's go with, let's go today and then add in another week. Then we can go in and fill in the details that we just went through. Now this tool is completely in Google Sheets and Google Docs, so you do have to make sure you've got an account. Of course, if you're good with Google Sheets, you can fully customize this however you want. Now if you want a copy of this tool, which will save you hours of work and weeks of planning, head down to the description and hit that link. Anyway, go get the tool, and if you've got questions, just ask.